How safe is a 10 pound axle stand? Should you really trust it to keep a car supported above you? And how does it compare to this 300 pound equivalent? Some of these axle stands are heavy duty and can deal with full on HGVs, but all of them will be pushed well past their quoted limits by this thing. This hydraulic press can compress anything into anything without even flinching. Its maximum force, 85 tons. Before we tested the axle stands, we set up a range of objects to see what this press could do. Three, two, one, smash it. I love a Red Bull. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. damn. <laughs> Whoa. That escalated quickly. <laughs> that was quite epic. Actually. Next. What will happen to those piston rings? Let's put it this way, in a minute, they'll never be going back in a car. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the first bit of my Mondeo you're destroying. Is it? That is Mondeo stuff. Oh, this is progress. Go. Oh. Ooh. Keep going. Oh, God, Damn. it's all kicking off. <laughs> this used to create 200 horsepower. Should we do the other one? Go for it, yeah, why, why, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Go on. Hit it! Go. Keep going, keep going! Oh, that, that's, that's compressing quite nicely now. I think that is it. <laughs> that put up a fight! That's the most compression it's ever made. <laughs> <laughs> the next one might pain some of you. This pained me. I imagine the next thing we're going to compress is going to be more universal. <laughs> to all you Mustang fans out there, I'm sorry. To be fair though, it would be better if that was a Mondeo. You try and find a 1 to 18 of a Mondeo, you can't find <laughs> They're it. They're not worth making. <laughs> Then you got one customer. Send it. Go. Oh. No. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. 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 There goes the boot lid. That's tragic. Look at that. Shell Bay GT500 boot lid. <laughs> oh. That will be on eBay later. Let's remove this plate. Come on, let's... This is going to be brutal. Oh. 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 That's yeah. tragic. Look at the little goodie. Yeah, that's Look at the anyway. little. Oh, Look at the li no. <laughs> that's... We had to do it. Next. I think this is just going to really satisfyingly smoosh. Ooh, Ooh, look at the pressure in that. Oh, oh wow. wow. That is power. That is proper oh, compressive. It's, it's just like a bit of blue tack. Yeah. It's like Play Doh, isn't it? We're still going? No, we're He's still, still going. going. <laughs> Adrian wasn't done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. So that used to be that. Honestly, it was just like a bit of Play-Doh. This thing is crazy powerful. Okay, we've got one more thing to do, which is by far the most extreme, and then it's onto the axle stands. This is my Mondale's old crankshaft. You can actually see the engine failure. You can see all that blue where this has got incredibly hot time to send it to a graveyard. So what's <laughs> going to happen here? Is this entire crankshaft just going to sandwich or is it going to ping I in think that it's direction? Gonna... We, I don't think this Perspex is quite made for that. <laughs> I think you need yeah. a bit of distance. Yeah, I think I'm going to go <clears> around here. Yeah, let's, um, I'll stand beside you here, Drew. Yeah, you stand in front of me, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my oh. god! That actually, wow. that actually didn't take a lot. That did go quick, didn't it? Do we go round two? Should I go rescue it? Wow. Holy moly. Let's go round. Wow. There you go, it's a paperweight now. Look at that. It's a Bluetooth crank now. <laughs> you want to break that some more? Uh, or do you yeah, want that as a memento? Two, come on. Three, two, one. Oh, it's gonna get it! Oh! Oh! Oh my oh. god! And again! <laughs> He's still He's going! Still going. He did never give up! Oh! Damn! <laughs> okay, enough right. mucking about. 
Let's get to it. Axel stand. Science work now. Starting with 10 British pounds, we'll move up to a 70 pound set and then on to the most expensive stands we could find. Which will prevail? Which is the best value for money? First of all, let's see what the cogs think. You guys may recognize where we are. We're at HMS Engineering and right next door is the smallest cog. Anthony, it looks yep. incredibly busy in there. How has season four been? It's been so long, but this year we've had some fantastic cars come through. And also, as I'll see coming into the episodes, we have had some amazing experiences to go with it. And I mean amazing. Well, if you want to watch season four of Richard Hammer's workshop, the link will be in the description below. Head to Discovery Plus and watch Anthony doing his thing. Anthony, axle stands. Yeah. Which one of these do you think is going to come out on top? Which one will take the most tonnage? Tonnage? Simply by design. I'm not going to go for that one straight away. Wee man over okay. there might struggle. He's going to struggle. This is what I've always used. Yeah, JCB. They've nev never let me down. Very repeatable. Never, ever let me down. But then when you compare it to these two... <laughs> I've never seen these, an apple stand no, this big. These, these have gone to a different level. And if I was going to go for the strongest, I would go for this one purely okay. because it's got a base plate. Okay, Once so you think you think this is all show then, compared to this? Compared to them, I reckon that's show, and that one there is going to be the, the one. If I tell you that this one yeah. is a hundred quid less than this one, hundred pounds. Yeah. No, I'm going to stick with it. No, you're going to stick I'm, with I'm it. I'm going to go with that. You one. like the design? I like the design. That one, I reckon the teeth are going to give in first. Neil, sorry to take you away from some cog work. Which one of these do you think is going to cope with the most tonnage? I would say that one would take the most. Interesting. Why? That's, that's what I think, because you've got no hollow spaces there. This is all solid and solid and solid. Might be wrong there. I reckon this one will last about two minutes. <laughs> you can see Adrian's Range Rover has already put some damage on that one already. Right. You run a Range Rover with it. Yeah, but well, what's his yeah, limit? Yeah, that dealt with a full, full fat Range yeah, Rover. Yeah. <laughs> now, this isn't just fun and games, it's time to get scientific. We will be taking the peak pressure applied to each stand and multiply that by the area of the hydraulic press. This number will then be divided by 2,240, as that's the amount of pounds in one imperial tonne, giving us the actual maximum force each stand can take in tonnes. First up, 10 pounds. What do you think? This is rated to what, three tonnes? This is a three tonne axle stand. <laughs> I don't believe it somehow. The fact that the smallest cog guys are actually hiding behind their van, <laughs> I don't think gives me too much confidence. All right, what do you think it will fail at? I think it will fail at four. I think it's going to fail at three. Actually, no, I'm going to say six tons. It's going to do double. H, three, two, one. Uh. Look at that pin! It's already failing. Oh, oh look at the gun coming out of it. Is that the paint? That is the paint. Oh, it's You're still right. going, though. Look at it go. That is literally compressing. Go on, little axle oh. stand. Oh, no, it's rolling. The legs are still holding Come up. on! Oh, no! Oh, God, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Oh, we nearly killed the cameraman. Turner, that was quite close to you. That was literally by your face. Right, we need to review the footage. Well, let's what find. Did that take? Let's find the axles then. That did way better than I thought it would. No, because it failed way before. But it, it hung on. I thought it would just completely pancake. I it mean, yeah. It put up a fight. It put up a fight, but the it failed. The paint was <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I don't know where the paint was. It just started to like, you know, <laughs> look at it. I erupt mean, paint. I don't think that lasted anywhere near three tons. So how well did the 10 pound stand actually do? When the pressure needle first drops, it shows what PSI the axle stand failed at, which in this case was 400 PSI. That means it's actually rated to withstand a weight of 10 tons. Wee man is dead. On to the reputable 65 pound JCB. So we're just improving the safety of the situation because um, we nearly, slightly nearly took out the cameraman. So yeah. Let the guys do their job, and then we're moving on to JCB. JCB, yeah. 65 quid, 
six tons. They make big stuff, JC. They make big stuff. So they should be able to take big weight. So four of these would go under like a normal JCB excavator. I, I would hope so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's implied, it's implied. H Hadrian, mm. what's this gonna fail at? I think that's actually gonna take quite a bit. I would say that will possibly go to a 30 ton. Okay. I'm gonna say 25. <clears throat> okay, I'm with Hadrian, 30. All right. <laughs> Send it. Send it, let's go. It's gone! Yeah, it's gone! It's gone. Oh, oh, there it goes! Oh, it's just pancaking! It's going to the it's just going bed. straight down. Oh no! That is so oh, oh, that was that was not good. That's absolutely perfect, right down the middle there. But look, the pin's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pin's a little, oh, little bit bent. A little bit bent. A little bit bent, but that held up. This held. It fell very predictably, which is what you want. If you if you're going to have a failure, you want to hear that crunching sound and go. I'm getting out of here, and then it fails slowly like that, and not just yeet off into the horizon like the other one. And the biggest difference with this, it's got teeth versus just a pin. Yeah. And they didn't fail at all. They didn't fail. The, the locking strong. thing for the... Does that still work? Ooh, it still works. Yep. That gave me a fright. <laughs> they still look. They're still oh, in yeah. one. Not even bent, I don't think. Is, is that slightly...? Okay. Let's watch the footage back and see what tonnage it did. The JCB was going strong until it hit 1,100 PSI. So it took 27 tons to reach failure. JCB, better, but still not the fuel safety factor of five. From 65 pounds to 200 pounds. This is an interesting one because it's the third most expensive, but yeah. we've got a more expensive one. But this one has the highest tonnage rating. So this is apparently a 20 ton axle stand. And it's, it's a very different design to the rest of them because this is like a solid, straight up yeah. theme. So. It's, it's kind of more like actually the 10 quid one than the JCB one with teeth. Yeah, because it's got that solid middle, Solid middle and structure. pin. Yeah. I that, think this is going to hold that. I think it's going to break the machine. That is a big old pin. <laughs> I think the pin will still be in one piece. Adrian, is that going to fail? I think so. I think it's going to fail on the first hole in the uh, centre section. Okay, so that's just going to melt and sort of... Oh, I think so, yeah. There's no structure to it. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. quite a strong thing, mind. The only thing we can do is compress it. <clears throat> you guys going to step back a bit from there, or...? Should be. Yeah, I would say that's a good idea. There'll be some energy popped in there in a minute. I, I'm literally staring the pin in the face there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go over to it. Send it. Yeah, the pin's bending. Oh, it's still in one piece, though. Oh, it's come bending. on! Come on, Seely! It's still there. Oh, oh there it goes! Failure. There it goes! It's still going, though. Is that oh. pin just going to melt all the way through it the now? The pin is doing a bend and a half. Oh, it's just going all the way through, isn't it? I'm wanting to move further, right, yeah. literally. Adrian, you are close. Even Adrian's backed up. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Is That's that all it. Got? That's, That's all it. she wrote. Wow. It survived. Look at that. It's failed, but it's survived. It's survived. I'd like not... to see you use it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, look at the pin. Whoa, it's bananaed it's... itself. Are you... Is that going to come out? I doubt it. That has... Give it a yank? That is... Oh, no chance. That is a one-piece unit. Look at some of this. That has impressed me, though, because it's failed, but it's still held in one piece. So it's actually the sort of housing mm. that has failed. The yeah. pins just mush through it. Yeah, that's what I thought it would. Mush these holes or mush the housing holes. So this is made by Sealy, 200 pounds. That's actually quite impressive. That is, yeah. And this was the one that the cogs said was going to be the best. It still could be the best. So even 85 tonnes mm. couldn't cause a dramatic failure. It no. failed like So we need to work out at what point it actually popped. Yes. And then we know that it survived 85 tonnes, sort of half assed but it survived it. So it failed, but it just didn't catastrophic Not catastrophic fail. failure. Okay. A nice, predictable failure. Let's survey the footage. Yeah, let's do it. Its actual point of failure was 3,200 PSI, meaning it withstood 80 tonnes of pressure. 20 tonne, 200 pounds, impressive. Now, on to the big daddy, 300 pounds. The final axle stand. The so Maxwell, daddy. most expensive, 300 pounds, but 
it's less tonnage. So this is technically, the way it looked, you think that'd be a 40 tonner, it's only a 10 tonner. It's a massive axle stand it's for 10 tonnes. Big old stand. I guess what makes it so expensive is that it's got like a sort of um, it's got a pneumatic, hydraulic, yeah, yeah, pneumatic, pneumatic lifter, lifter, on lifter it. yeah, which is cool. I think it's it looks meaty. It looks yes. like it's gonna hold up, but it also it hasn't got the secondary pin on this one. I think it's gonna hold on for a bit, you know. I think this might do 45. Okay. 50. Adrian, what do you make of this one? Um I think that the uh, red frame is going to buckle on the uh, far side. Okay. It's slightly offset. It's not a uniform loading look. Could that make it quite sketchy once it's got the full 80 tonne going do, through? It could do, yeah. But I mean, we're protective, we've got glasses on. So what tonnage are you saying? I, I think this might might go the, the whole hog and stall out. Let's see, I mean, I'm going 50, 45, 50. I'm going to say this one's going to come in at 40 tonnes. Okay. Let's send it. I'm getting back. Yeah, I think we are <laughs> going to move on this one. On your command. I'm, I'm saying slightly further that way. <laughs> okay, Hadrian, three, two, one, go! go. Ooh, oh. Oh. Damn! My God, that was loud. <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Oh, there it goes, there it's it goes, going. there it goes. Oh. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, get ready to flip. What? what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it still going? Oh, it's just, it's peeling away now. It's just banana skinning. Oh. <laughs> Come on, it's ceiling. It's falling in on itself. Keep going. It's going to collapse very soon. Hadrian, watch yourself. It's up against the first place. Oh, my God. Half the HMS team are way over there. <laughs> I'm not going to go anymore. It's That's on it. too much of an angle. If that scoots out, it'll be through this truck. Right, <laughs> right we don't want to take out the truck. OK. okay. We're I bottling it. I think we can call it, to we're, be fair. We're bottling it. Let's have a look. That was the scariest one so far, by a long way. Wow, yeah. it just folded up on that itself. Was, that was a shotgun when yeah. that one went. That took it like a champ. Look at that. Well, look, I mean, this is just, as you say, it's like just banana peel. That is a strong, look that's, how warm it is. That's quite hot as well. So. The world's held on good. Other sides as well. Perfect. Yeah, so it's it Just started yeah, to crack, yeah. just, just. I reckon 100 tonnes might have might got it going. It. But I mean, this is just, look, the foot's come off. So Aww. we did have a failed weld. <gasps> Do you want to know what the big bang was? Can I get this out? What is that? that oh, is it's a, a tooth. That's a tooth. Oh, one tooth. Hold on. Will it still work? Oh, no. The pneumatics have failed. <laughs> oh, that's all the way up. So there's oh, our tooth. Oh, there it came off. Wow. Straight so that was there. the initial failure. That was the bang we heard. Yes. So at that point is when it failed, and then the rest was just crashing. What pressure did it actually fail at? Reviewing the footage, we can see the big bang was at 1400 PSI, so it failed at 35 tonnes. So, if we were to nominate an axle stand to use at the smallest cog, it would be this one right here. And if you want to watch season four of Richard Hammond's workshop, click the link below.